Well, accepting signing bonuses for a new job sounds great, right? <laughs> can be both exciting and nerve-wracking, though. And tonight's legal lens with Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary, Fox News Vic Faust finds out, finds out rather what you need to know and what you need to ask. Let's talk signing bonuses. Why do organizations offer them? Well, it's a very hot thing right now. There's a few reasons organizations may offer them. Uh, one is to... Uh, you know, make it equitable within their or organization and equalize what people are making within their organization. Two, may be to compensate you for some income you may be foregoing to come to their organization. And then finally, the biggest thing that we're seeing right now is just to attract employees and to beat out the competition. What are some things that you need to think about because it sounds great? Oh yeah, give me a signing bonus. Yeah, I mean, you have to realize that a lot of times these things are being offered strategically. So some questions you may want answered before you agree to these terms is, is this going to be in place of a end of year bonus or in lieu of a yearly raise? Um, two, will you get the money up front or over time? Uh, three, are you required to stay with that company for a certain amount of time? And four, you know, and probably the biggest one, if you do not, are you required to repay that bonus or that signing bonus? And what would that look like? So none of these may be a deal breaker, but they're definitely questions you want to ask and have answered. Can you see several different types of signing bonuses? Yeah, and they and they run the gamut, you know, in different variations of everything we just mentioned. So, you know, you really want to, it sounds great, someone's going to give you a, a, a wad of cash, but you really want to ask what the terms are uh, that they are going to fulfill to pay you in whole for that signing bonus. And then finally, what are your requirements to be able to receive and keep that bonus? Have you seen people get in trouble with signing bonuses? Is it something that you would be concerned about since it seems like it's being used more so now? I have seen attempts to have people repay bonuses at the end. So out of all these questions we've asked, you definitely want to find out what happens if you do not fulfill the term of employment that they're requiring to keep that bonus. Vic Faust, Fox 2 News. And you can catch The Legal Lens every Wednesday right here on Fox 2 News at 6 and also on Monday.